day of the shooting, my FCO and I had just finished wrapping up lunch and we were on our way back to the district. And if a call came over, shots fired. It was unbelievable because I said, oh, this is at the pancake house. This is at the restaurant where people are eating. This was my first week. It was overwhelming for me. Everything was going through my mind, like how many people were shot. So we get out of the car and we're not sure whether or not the shooters are still on the scene. We approach with caution, but at the same time, people are running towards us, telling us to come help, help. Um, your friend needs some help. All that was going through my mind was the train. Like, okay, like, like a stoplight, red, green, and yellow. Who needs it now? Who can wait? And who is okay? And so that's that's what I did. So one gentleman pulled me to a, an area where a victim was, and it was her and her boyfriend. Her boyfriend that was next to her, he had suffered multiple gunshot wounds. And I looked at him, I checked him, and I said, okay, he's not breathing, and I don't feel a heartbeat. I'm like, okay, so he is deceased. I asked her where was she shot in her foot, and I checked it out, and I told her friend to keep, he had wrapped a t-shirt around her foot. I said, keep applying pressure onto her foot, and I'm gonna be right back, I gotta go run to the truck. So I run, and I come back, I put the gauze on her, I wrapped the dressing around her foot. I said, okay, keep applying a little bit of pressure, but she is going to be good. Chicago police officers each and every day put their lives on the line. These officers arrived on the scene before the Chicago Fire Department. I'm still shocked to say that that happened during my first week being on the job, but I was comfortable enough to know that I did my job to the best of my ability and I was able to help somebody. They did not have time to wait. They had to react. They had to address this uh, traumatic injury immediately. Sometimes people have a negative connotation about who the police are right now. And then when they talk to me, it changes their whole emotions about it. Like they're very open with me. They sometimes see me more than once on the block sometimes, and they know me by name. And I like it, you know, it makes me feel good. It lets me know that I'm doing my job.